I'm always wearing dark shirts on stage. Everyone does to try and make themselves slim. But those days are gone. <laughs> so, <laughs> now I'm just, I just buy the big are. ones. <laughs> yeah. That's not too white, right, is it? Shirt from the last tour. That shirt that... got stroving already, really, is it? This is the final one of three or four I've given others to charity. This is made by Autograph, Marxist. So, uh, Marxist, mm -hmm. a bit low on pants at the moment. Just saying. That one was at the beginning of the tour. This is what I wore towards the end. Still autograph, still Marxist. Just saying, that's all. Very good shirts, wash well. They really wash well, they iron beautiful. What do you expect from Marxists? Do you like iron? Yeah. I like the process of it and getting creases out. You know, I think if I can just get this crease out, I can sort my life out. What people don't realise is, one of the things that really got Prince down was all the shoe polishing he had to do before every show. You know. Aha. Uh -huh. One of my first comedy notebooks. Look at that. Does that look serious or what? I was even highlighting things then. This, this is very early stages. Female fart. Mr. Goodhand. Mr. Goodhand was our science teacher. He came into the class one day and he went, by the year 2000, at least two of you will be dead. And I always thought that was quite funny. You know, it's gaining kids' attention. They're just terrifying the life out of them. I think someone went, any idea it might be, sir? I was wondering if Boris Johnson could use it, you know, for the old coronavirus thing. You can go out, but you can't go out, out. That would be... <laughs> You yeah, know, you can pop out, you can even go out, but you can't end up out of. That would be good, wouldn't it? <sighs> are you out or were you out? <laughs>